we are all experiencing inflation that is eating up our wealth in Nigeria. What is food inflation today? Way, 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 way more than what they say it is. But it's sitting at almost 40% on the books. Whatever you earn today, the inflation rate in Nigeria is about 36%. So if you're earning in Naira and you're not converting it to something that can accelerate that money, firstly, oh, and store the value of the amount of Naira that you're putting into it first, and then do not debase it, and then help you grow it without even touching it and every evil that the people controlling this world people that love autocracy are doing as long as there is evil in the world as long as there is autocracy in the world as long as central banks are still existing trying to do central bank digital currency bitcoin will always win you're welcome to the digital assets show hosted by myself Oluwa Shegun Kushemani. some people call me Olu or Olu you can call me Lami Lami. You can call me. If you know me from the past, you'll call me Lami. Lami Lami. Uh-huh. Also, Alaji. Uh, I talk about Bitcoin. I talk about crypto, right? Um, I talk about the hardest money on Pop Central Channel 189 DSTV. This is the only <clears throat> show that talks about exclusively Bitcoin on national television all over Africa. Yes, it's tied to digital as a show. If you have anything that you're doing that's digital that makes sense, bring it over here. There's, you see me? I'm a Bitcoiner. I love to talk about Bitcoin. Bitcoin is money. It's a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. So everything is about money. Money affects our lives. The world is inflationary already. That wasn't how God designed it, but people of the world have made it inflationary. Central banks are making things hard for the people not to not talk of some of us that live in this part of the world the third world mm, developing nation <laughs> i think that sounds better so you guys are welcome 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 to the digital assets show thank you thank you thank you, you made it this far give yourself a round of applause if you've been watching us for a while give yourself a round of applause it's the second season multiple episodes will keep going and um the landscape of blockchain is changing everything about money money is changing so should all of us be uh, because the people that are in charge of our money do they really care about us do they the nigerian people want to protest i am not for or against the protest but i'm for the truth this show is basically to let you know that bitcoin supports anything that have to do with freedom freedom to speak freedom to roll freedom to act to do to say yes and to say no bitcoin is hard money money that central bank cannot control bitcoin is freedom money money that gives you 100 percent liberty to be borderless it moves all around the world easy peer to peer it's not inflationary. Of course, it is disinflationary. The growth trajectory of Bitcoin overall is upwardness. If you zoom out. So, if you want to protest for hunger, for bad leadership, you want to protest against lies, against alterations, against poverty you want to protest against misappropriation against corruption then you should pay attention to bitcoin it would help you pay attention to your finances and if you are the one who is against the protest then you should also learn about bitcoin it will make so much sense to you you will stop doing bad things you will stop taking what's not yours Today on the show, I'm very, very happy because something special has been happening over the week. But then, you know how we do it? I have to tell you what Bitcoin price is today, right? So go with me to CoinMarketCap. What is Bitcoin price today? Bitcoin price today as at July 18, 15. That's about 15 minutes past 6 p.m. 
West African Nigerian time, convert that to whatever it is in your own area. On the 27th of July, Saturday, Bitcoin is $68,677.30. Of course, you know, the price against fiat continues to, you know, continues in its volatility. But for us, we say volatility is vitality in Bitcoin. What's the market cap of BTC? The market cap of Bitcoin is about one trillion. 354 billion, 16 million US dollars, da 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 da. What business in Africa do you know and in Nigeria that is 1 trillion US dollar market cap that has that? And then this is a baby company, if it were a company, if Bitcoin were to be a business. It would just be about 15 years, still a young teenager, not an adult yet, so juvenile. And it's already worth way more than Facebook. Meta as a whole, the owners of Facebook, WhatsApp, etc. Only a few companies are worth more than BTC. Yeah. What are you investing in? Talk to yourself. Today, I want to let you know. That in 2009, when I first heard about the word BTC, Bitcoin, when the white paper surfaced online, if you had invested just two years after that, maybe in 2011, just 100,000 naira, or a little more than that. At the time in Nigeria, it was about $1,000. If you had invested just $1,000 or 100,000 naira in Bitcoin only, I'm not talking about these other crypto that are not <clears throat> that are centralized i'm talking about bitcoin decentralized for real if you had invested just one thousand dollar by now just about 12 13 years after maybe you invested in 2011 you would have nothing less than take a listen 10 million us dollars put it up on the screen 10 million us dollars do the math by yourself. How many percent is that? What in Nigeria would you have invested in that would have given you that? Take a listen. Wonderful. Awesome. Did you see that? Every time I watch this video, I ask myself, what was I thinking? What was I doing? Tell yourself the truth. If you had invested 100,000 Naira or 150 Naira at the black market rate, 150 Naira per dollar, so $1,000 would have been one. Hundred and fifty thousand dollars, fifty thousand naira max. I love the, I, I love the dollar. I don't scatter my head, but I love Bitcoin more than the dollar. But you know, our money is backed by the dollar. So, <laughs> one hundred and fifty thousand naira max in two thousand and eleven. You would be having ten million dollars today. Obviously, you can't get that in real estate. You couldn't have gotten that in gold. You saw the comparison between Bitcoin and gold. If it was gold you invested a thousand dollars in, you would have just gotten a few hundreds of dollars after. You won't even have two thousand dollars. No, no cap. Like this is real. Gold is the so it's supposed to be the scarcest asset before BTC, right? Some people still think gold is proper edge for money today. Isn't this obvious that anyone, any business, any country, any nation? that has invested in gold would have done, performed badly against the ones that invested in Bitcoin. In other words, if you are a nation, an individual, or an organization, or a business, 
and you invested in Bitcoin, right? You made maybe Bitcoin your, as a nation in Nigeria, for example, we make Bitcoin a reserve currency, right? And we buy Bitcoin of like, say, today, maybe like $10 million at the price, current price of 68 plus thousand dollars. What do you think Bitcoin will be in the next 10 years? See for yourself. See for yourself. In other words, the price of Bitcoin have done tremendously way better than everything, every other thing. Whether it is S&P 500, whether it is New York Stock Exchange, oil and gas, there is no business, no fast-moving consumer goods that you would have invested in and in just this short period of 13 years or 10 years, you would have gotten the thousands, over 500,000, almost, I think it's about 1 million, if I'm not mistaken, plus percent in growth from inception. Gold is not what you even need to invest in because gold is not even as scarce as Bitcoin is because there are only 21 million Bitcoin. We can always mine gold. Yes, as scarce as it is, I know it's very expensive. But in comparison to BTC, which is digital, digital property, a digital asset that cannot be debased, that cannot be controlled, and it cannot be reproduced, only 21 million of it, highly divisible, incorruptible, 100 million Satoshis makes one Bitcoin. Satoshis or SAT, S-A-T-S for short, or S-A-T for short, are the unit of account of Bitcoin, or is the unit of account of Bitcoin. So SATs, the way Cobra is to Naira is how SAT is to Bitcoin. The way cent is to dollar, pence is to pounds, and pesos to CDs, it's just the way Satoshis are to Bitcoin. So when I come on national television like this, on Pop Central, it's not because I like to come and run my mouth. It's a lot of work that has been put in to come and share with you. This airtime is very, very, very expensive. Of course, highly subsidized by Pop Central. Thank you. But it's a lot of work. Myself and my team. Everybody behind the camera, we are all experiencing the inflation that is eating up our wealth in Nigeria. You and I, what is food inflation today? Way, 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 way more than what they say it is. But it's sitting at almost 40% on the books. Whatever you earn today, the inflation rate in Nigeria is about 36%. Whatever you earn today, has a deductible automatic of 36%. And food inflation is even more than the general inflation. So, and we eat, you must eat to survive. So if you're earning in an IRA and you're not converting it to something that can accelerate that money, that can automate that money, that can firstly hold and store the value of the amount of Naira that you're putting into it first of all, and then do not debase it, and then help you grow it without even touching it. You don't need to trade Bitcoin. You don't need to... It grows naturally. Nothing drives it. What drives it is simple adoption and every evil that the people controlling this world, people that love autocracy, are doing. Yes, as long as there is evil in the world, as long as there is autocracy in the world, as long as central banks are still existing, trying to do central bank digital currency, Bitcoin will always win. <laughs> Woo! I have something special for you in case you don't believe me. There's a man called Larry Fink. He's the CEO of the biggest asset management company in the world. They manage a $10 trillion investment portfolio. His name is Larry Fink. The name of the company is BlackRock. You may or you may not know BlackRock, but the people that know BlackRock know that BlackRock 
<laughs> the new world order, they practically own everything. They have their hands in everything, in health, in technology, in governance, in oil and gas, in religion, in media, in advocacy, in human rights. They have their hands in the dirt and in the good. And the CEO of BlackRock is telling you he has learned so much about Bitcoin, even though he was a skeptic. I'm trying to tell you guys that the highest, the biggest asset manager in the world, who, who CEO was a skeptic of this particular asset class called Bitcoin, is now coming to say after many years, almost a decade of being a skeptic or more, saying, I think Bitcoin is what you must have in your portfolio. There is a space for Bitcoin in your portfolio. If you are saving money, you are buying land, houses, maybe you buy gold or you buy anything, you buy stocks, you have to pay attention to what is performing way better than all of them. And it's BTC. This is a man that is bigger than every entrepreneur that we have in Africa when it comes to the assets that he manages. $10 trillion asset portfolio company. They manage such large investments, set of investments. And their CEO, who was never for, is now for, openly, is now the biggest poster man for Bitcoin. Who are you? Not to be on your way to redemption. To realize that the only way out is through Bitcoin. Take a listen again to what Larry Fink is saying. I hope there is an audio. I hope you can hear what he's saying. You know? But if you can't, I'll bring back that video again for you one day. He's basically just saying that... <laughs> I think that if you are fearful of your current financial situation, it's not me, it's him that's saying that. If you are fearful of your current financial situation, which I've told you guys multiple times, then you have to pay attention to Bitcoin. If you think you don't like the situation you are experiencing in your nation, you're in a country where things are not stable financially, economically, everything, security-wise, Pay attention to Bitcoin. I'll go for a quick break, make some money. When I come back, we'll be talking more on the Digital Assets Show. Hey, to debunk the myths and establish the facts. I remain Olu. Oh, ha <laughs> ha. We're going to be right back. You're welcome back to the Digital Assets Show. Thank you for staying tuned. Thank you for sticking with us. I was telling you guys that Larry Fink the CEO and chairman of BlackRock, a company that manages $10 trillion in assets all over the world, $10 trillion US dollars, is saying today that Bitcoin is a must-have in your portfolio. This is somebody that was against Bitcoin many years ago. See Larry Fink as 100x of what our biggest Tony Elumelu is. Dangote, the Otedolas, an entrepreneur that is like managing assets that is 100x of their wealth put together, combined. Larry Fink, the CEO of BlackRock, pivoting away from his anti Bitcoin voices and words now becoming the biggest ambassador for BTC then who am I who are you to say you don't understand take a listen as you know I was a skeptic <laughs> yes I was you know I was a proud skeptic yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I studied it learned about it and I came away saying okay you know my opinion five years ago was wrong here's my opinion today this is what I believe in today I believe the opportunity today I believe Bitcoin is legitimate. I'm not trying to say there's not misuses like everything else, but it is a legitimate financial instrument 
that allows you to have maybe uncorrelated, non-correlated type of returns. I believe it is an instrument that you invest in when you're more frightened, though. It is an instrument when you believe that co countries are debasing their currency, de debasing their currency by excess deficits, and some countries are. I believe we have um, countries where you're frightened of your everyday existence and have an opportunity to invest in, in a, a something that is outside your country's uh, you know, control, then you can have more financial control. And so I'm a, a major believer that there is a role for Bitcoin in, in portfolios. I believe you're going to see that as, an, as a, one of the asset classes that we all look at. I look at it as digital gold, as I said before, and I do believe there's a, a, there's a, there's a real need for everyone to look at it as, as one alternative to, I would say, the optimism that I have in the world. If you want to hedge hope, Bitcoin is not a, an instrument for hope unless you're hopeful you're going to make a lot of money on it. <laughs> but it, I, I look at it as a vehicle in which you're expressing your, your financial acumen in something that you're more frightened of the world, you're more frightened of your existence. And I believe there's a great industrial use for it. And I, and I think a lot of people are missing that. I couldn't agree more. I changed my mind about it when you did. You had been my thinking. It was like, uh-uh, you don't believe it. So I can't believe it. I want to thank Larry Fink for the message of optimism. Wow. Awesome. Very interesting to watch. Give Larry Fink a round of applause. I love it when people err and then they can say, look, I have found divine. And I am not too proud to say, I'm sorry. Oh, my opinion was wrong. And now that I've done my research, now that I've verified without trusting, and I have realized what the facts and the truth is, I am humble enough, no matter the wealth, access, or power that I have, to say this is the way to go. That is what Larry Fink BlackRock CEO just did. And I want every billionaire, every big company, every nation, every politician in Mother Africa, in Nigeria, understand these facts, right? If you want to call me, please feel free. The number will be on your screen. Let me feel your pause. Talk to us. Uh, the number to call is 081-384-49212. Pop Central, DSTV Channel 189. Once again, 081-384-49212. Digital Asset Show. If you feel me, you follow me, go. I think we have a call. Who's on the line? Oh, we lost that. It's okay. Feel free. You know, this information why they pass across, it takes sweat and blood. I use my money for data. I make sure I'm in an environment that has power, you know? And because I'm living already on the Bitcoin standard, I have to make sure I research and, and, and try to increase adoption as much as possible. I want you and I to enjoy this whole thing. I don't want to be the only one with this information. I wish I had all the money on earth to buy Bitcoin for you and I, buy Bitcoin for the world. Buy Bitcoin for Nigeria. Like any state in Nigeria, any state governor that is smart enough, even if it is a local government or a revenue generation agency or arm of government that takes advantage of Bitcoin as a reserve asset or just buy it as a profit generation product and put it on your balance sheet. Trust me, in five years, you will be doing 10 times better than any of the leaders in front of you when it comes to running businesses or even your competitors. I'm not even kidding. Go and check the history. Michael Saylor, one of the biggest entrepreneurs in the world. You know, he lives in the United States of America, an Americana. He owns a financial intelligence company called MicroStrategy has invested in everything, whether it is S&P 500, gold, you know, high network 
high net worth tech companies. And he has been campaigning highly for Bitcoin. There's a Bitcoin conference going on. And just yesterday, he predicted heavily, boldly, that in 21 years from now, just 21 years from now, add that to your age. If you're 20, you'll be 41. If you're 40, you'll be 61. You're still going to be alive. If you're 60, you can still live 21 years. You'll be 81. You'll still be alive. That the Bitcoin price at the bear market, at the bull run, or of course, in average, would be something completely exponential. When I saw the numbers, I was... I wasn't, I, I wasn't in any way thinking less of that because I know what Bitcoin has done in the last 14 years. So when I saw those numbers, I'm like, whoa, quickly. We put that out on Satoshi's journal. So if you have that tweet, please, can you put the tweet out? When Bitcoin becomes 2%, right now it's about 0.1% of the entire you know, asset class adoption. When it becomes 2%, 7%, all 22% of the world's asset by 2045. Or in 21 years from now, max, 21 years from now. Michael Saylor projects that Bitcoin will be worth the barest minimum in the worst market. Ah, Bitcoin has crashed. Bitcoin don't crash. Oh, hey. It will be $3 million for one Bitcoin. That's the same Bitcoin you would have bought for nothing less than 100 Naira in 2008. 10 2011 one bitcoin is $68,000 today pay attention when you watch this video again in 21 years michael saylor a multi-billionaire is not shilling he was against btc before he just got into bitcoin i got into bitcoin earlier than michael saylor he got into bitcoin maybe in 2020 but whoa i've been educated by him because he did his 1000 plus research hours research he's saying that minimum of three million dollars per one bitcoin if it is, if it's able to get just two percent, two percent of the net worth of the world's asset class, including gold, real estate, everything together, if it goes farther than that and does seven percent, still under ten percent. Minimum of one Bitcoin will be $13 million. So if you think Bitcoin is too expensive today at Nigerian exchange rates to maybe 100 or something million naira today at $68,000, multiply that by 1,550 thereabouts. <laughs> one Bitcoin will be $13 million. So any investment you do today, your children, children will enjoy it. If you have a 21 years old child, by the time your child will be 42 years old, your child will be a multi-millionaire, multi-multi-billionaire in Naira. If you buy one Bitcoin at $68,000 for your child today. Now imagine if not just ordinary $100, $150,000 Bitcoin you buy. When Bitcoin price turns to $30 million, how much do you think that's your $100,000 naira will you keep for 21 years go be? Jesu, you could buy us for lucky. Uh, you go buy house for lucky. Allah, kwa. If Bitcoin does way better and does double digits, 22% of the world asset class, $49 million, boom, per coin. <laughs> okay. Put it up. 21-year price forecast of BTC. Bitcoin 21-year price forecast. In the bear market, it says Bitcoin price will be $3 million as against what it is, you know, a few days ago. Switch to the next picture. 21 years price forecast. Base, $13 million for one Bitcoin if it's about less than, still one digit, 7% of the world asset class pulled together. Think of all the assets on earth. All the assets, digital assets, everything. I mean, <laughs> physical assets, tangible assets, intangible assets. The what? of all of them, real estate, whatever, whatever part of the world's economy, gold, silver, what have you, oil and gas, stocks, all put together, if Bitcoin can do just 7%, base, 
will be 13 million dollars per coin and 49 million dollars in the beer market cash out boom <laughs> right now Nigerian people cash out boom at 49 million dollars and it come down to 13 million dollars you go just buy two pa 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 for the deal key yeah <laughs> It's going to be very interesting. And the market cap today that is 1.3 trillion will be nothing less than 68 trillion. In the beer market, 68 trillion is already bigger than the market cap of gold. What is the market cap of gold today? I don't even think it's up to 20 trillion. It will be 68 trillion. It will eat up gold. Bitcoin will eat up or cookie master. Eat up gold. Many of you will call me God's disciple when that time comes. You think it's a joke. I would still be alive. I'm young. I'm young, 30 son. Sir. Hey, Jesus. The poor will be richer and the rich will be poorer because the rich, they even stole money, took people's wealth, oppressed people, and has kept 10 billion naira. And a poor man that manages to take a loan with his house that is worth at least 100 million naira today. You know, inflation is crazy in Nigeria. And of course, real estate is doing very, very well because everybody wants to own something, you know, at least that can strengthen whatever money that they are making. You want to put your money in something that can hold it because pretty much nothing would be able to hold it in Nigeria if it's not real estate and a few other things. Fast moving moving consumer goods is even worse because it's facing a lot of problems. If you are lucky to have a small bungalow anywhere, bungalow for mainland says they reach 100 million. If you fit, fit. Let me give you the math. Don't sell it. Just borrow against it. Huh? Use that money that you borrow. Don't go and do any business. Buy Bitcoin. Boom. 21 years payment plan. Even if it's double digit. You will have nothing less than, even if not $10 million you get. Eh? You don't pay back. I'm telling you. This is what I'm planning for my life. This is what I'm working on. So please do the same if you want to. Maybe not a financial advice because I'm not a certified financial advisor. But it's the facts for me to you. Go and think about it. I may not have tie and dress like those thieves. In, you already know where. Those ones that claim to be banks actually have nothing. Be smart. Anyway, moving on. I have no time to waste. We're celebrating. Oh, we got a call. We have a call. Put a person in line. Hello. Who are you? Where are you calling from? Uh, What's your name and where are you calling from? I'm calling from Akwebo State, the Kilo government. My name is Monday. Woo! Monday, how are you doing? I actually have an acquired bomb. Is that an acquired bomb? I think I have a, an acquired bomb guest today. Monday, <laughs> how are you yeah. doing? Talk to me. Yeah. Thank you, sir. I see the thing for Facebook. I just, uh, I just, uh, before, before the thing just cut, I know uh, my daughter don't finish. I don't understand it. I just said, uh, let me pick the number and call and know uh, how far for the thing. How, how, how naira they treat you? What thing you they buy? You they save your money for Bitcoin? I be just a save and they give bank. Me they just I, chop them. I just, <laughs> I just want to know if I save the money. You say what? I said, I, hello? Hello, I can hear you. Go on, go on, go on, my brother. I said, I just want to know how they save the money. All right, so the because because I want to give time to more people to reach me, and, and we're running out of time, you know, I won't be able to keep you on the line, but thank you for calling me. I'll tell you how, and you can watch the repeat of this show. Basically, I am not a financial advisor, but I'm just telling you to pay attention, read about Bitcoin, study about Bitcoin, pay attention to what I'm watching, never mix any of the repeat episode or the live episode on Pop Central Digital Assets Show, or you can find me, Mr. Lamy Lamy, on Twitter or on Facebook. You're going to see it pop up on the screen, uh, and you'll be able to learn a lot about BTC, and you will know where to put your money. Hmm? Be smart. Thank you for that call. I love it when people call me. But quick one. Bitcoin 2024 in Nashville, the biggest Bitcoin conference in the world is happening. And guess what? A pro-Bitcoin former U.S. president and a current presidential candidate President Donald Trump will be speaking live today. He said that yesterday at the Republicans, uh, one of the Republicans uh, conventions, or should I say campaign grounds. It was very, very interesting to watch. Take a listen. And I will never allow the creation of a central bank digital currency. I will also... 
Woo! Okay. You got to play that video again so they can get it. He's going to be in the Bitcoin conference, right? I will ensure that the future of crypto and, and the he said this. Bitcoin will be made in the USA, not driven overseas. I will support the right to self-custody to the nation's 50 mm -hmm. million crypto holders. I say this with your vote. I will keep Elizabeth Warren and her goons away from your Bitcoin. And I will never allow the creation of a central bank digital currency. I will also... This is fun being with you. It's like a love fest. <laughs> Tomorrow I'm going to be with the Bitcoin people. That's a little different. We have we cover lots of territory. Woo! <laughs> if a former US president and most likely the next US president, Portus, is saying that he will protect your Bitcoin, he will make sure the future of Bitcoin development and adoption is in the United States, a country that their dollar is actually the one being backed uh, backing almost all the currency in the world. The US dollar, the petrol dollar, the dollar who is any african president not to pay attention it's a digital world and he was speaking at the bitcoin conference today in a couple of hours he will be speaking for bitcoin <laughs> anyway as the show winds down i just want you to know that there is really really no money in that bank that you're saving your own money it is your money they are collecting and they are running the fractional reserve banking fractional reserve banking it's basically bank spending the money that they don't have, giving you money that they don't really have. And you are the one doing the work, giving them money to eat from it. Look at what happened in Nigeria some time ago. Huh? Some time ago, banks just disappeared with our money. Nobody has been arrested. Nobody has been jailed. Remember, ex-governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Governor Emifili. Anyway, if you don't believe me, take a listen to somebody speaking in, in, in the British Parliament about what exactly is happening with central bank in the world, maybe this will teach you sense. Mm, I tell you, take a listen. It is my opinion that you do not really understand the concept of banking. All the banks are broke. Uh, bank Santander, Deutsche Bank, Royal Bank of Scotland, they're all broke. And why are they broke? It isn't an act of God. It isn't some sort of tsunami. They're broke because we have a system called fractional reserve banking, which means that banks can lend money that they don't actually have. It's a criminal scandal and it's been going on for too long. And most of the problem starts in politics and central banks, which are part of the same political system. We have counterfeiting, sometimes called quantitative easing, but counterfeiting by any other name. The artificial printing of money, which if any ordinary person did, they'd go to prison for a very long time. And yet governments and central banks do it all the time. Central banks repress the amount of interest that rate, rates are, so we don't have the real cost of money. And yet we blame the real retail banks for manipulating LIBOR. The sheer effrontery of this is quite astonishing. It's central banks. It's central banks that manipulate interest rates, Commissioner. And plus, underneath all this, we talk loosely, in a rather cavalier fashion, do we not, about deposit guarantees. So when banks go broke through their own incompetence and chicanery, the taxpayer picks up the tab. It's theft from the taxpayer. To Femi Longe, a Nigerian Bitcoiner, who has now joined HRF. Femi Longe started from Kala and then joined Bitros Builders, and now he has joined HRF, Human Rights Foundation. And it was, um, it was actually presented to the Bitcoin world on the center stage of the Bitcoin conference in Nashville. Uh, watch that. It's a beautiful one happens in Nigeria and in Africa. Exclusively here for this audience, uh, the Human Rights Foundation and our Bitcoin program, the Financial Freedom Program, has been expanding and uh, doing more and more every single year around supporting Bitcoin adoption and Bitcoin technology. And uh, we recently have secured a new and very important and very amazing hire uh, to help us with that mission. So I want to introduce Femi Longe to the stage and welcome him formally and officially to the HRF Financial Freedom. Yeah! Femi! Femi is going to be our global Bitcoin lead and uh, we could not be more excited for continuing to push forward Bitcoin with his leadership. Thank you, CK. Good morning, everyone. Um, Great, really, really excited to be joining the team. Uh, my name is Femi. For the last two years and a half, I've been training software engineers across Africa and getting them into open source Bitcoin. And I'm really excited about the next phase. 
where um, I'll be supporting to drive the Bitcoin Development Fund. And that fund, one part of it is looking at how we can um, expand and decentralize the open source community that's building Bitcoin. Because if Bitcoin is decentralized money, then the people that are building it also need to be decentralized. And that's part of what I'll be driving. But in line with HR's mission, I'll also be supporting people in dictatorships and repressed societies around the world to make sure that they can have the opportunity to actually oppose the government and not have their, their money used against them. And that's the work that will be driving uh, in the fund. I'm really excited to join the team and look forward to what will happen through the day. I'll be speaking tomorrow on the panel uh, on Bitcoin in Africa later uh, in the afternoon. So feel free to join me here. Thank you. Thank you so much. And you all once again, congratulations to Femi Lunge representing Nigeria and Africa. I, I don't know if you're my friend, I'm not your friend, whatever it is. <laughs> but I met Femi Lunge at the Kala's uh, first ever, you know, uh, cohort meetup where I went to, I, I went to speak to the um, fast rising Bitcoin only developers over there. So I'm very happy this is happening for us. Yes, and a big one, a big win for HRF. And that said, I don't understand Bitcoin, but you are wrong about it. If that is your mindset, now you sabi. I don't understand Bitcoin, but you're wrong about it. All of them now, we think saying I be nerd. We think saying I know where to invest money, <laughs> but you're not buying Bitcoin. I doing Web3, you're not doing Bitcoin. Now you sabi. I remain your host, Ulua Shego Koshimani. It's been a wonderful show on Digital Assets Show. Uh, I want to say a big sorry to my guest that we couldn't connect with. His name is James Otuda. I'll bring James Otuda next week. He's suing the Nigerian federal government <clears throat> on Bitcoin matters something huge thank you pop central thank you my viewers i love you all olu we'll be right back same time next week shout out to all of my production team without you there is no me bye bye